Hi guys, let me show you the linear algebra made easy app for the Inspire. It uh, requires a CAS handheld and it does not run on computers. So let me show you what it has. It's uh, very loaded. It has a lot of uh, uh, matrix and linear algebra in it. So let's go through the step by step. Here you can find all matrix uh, operations, more advanced matrix operations, eigenvectors, inverse determinants, etc., orthonormal basis, applications, solving, X equal B systems, Kramer rule, Simpson algorithm, LU QR factorization, finding a square root, and you can even read about magic squares if you like. Linear algebra contains uh, kernel, range, orthonormal basis, nullity, null space basis, and row and column space basis. So all this can be done step by step. You can read about the transformations that you usually encounter in your linear algebra class. And of course, you can also um, solve vector problems here step by step. So let's look at uh, some features um, specifically. Say um, you're given two matrices A and B. Um, notice again that as you enter a matrix on top, it immediately shows you the correct step-by-step -step answer. You modify your matrix a little bit, you get your immediate answers. Uh, matrix 2, here you can do your typical um, uh, row echelon computation, right? You do your r row um, operations until you eva uh, end up at a matrix that has zeros below the diagonal. Um, find eigenvalues, enter your matrix, find your characteristic polynomial, solve it, and there are your eigenvalues. Of course, you can then find your eigenvectors as well. Um, let's do orthonormal basis. Scroll up, vectors in columns, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then you do your all, uh, steps in order to arrive at your basis. And after normalizing your vectors, you arrive at this orthonormal basis. Works, of course, also for 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four matrices, no problem. Um, LU, lower and upper factorization. Enter your square matrix first. You do your row echelon computation. And you end up with your lower matrix here and your upper matrix here, which is a result of your row echelon uh, computation. And then if you compute L times U, you actually end up with A. Well, this is your A here. Linear algebra, find kernel. Well, one, two, three, four. You do your reduced row echelon computation and you end up with a rank of two, which of course means your kernel only contains the zero vector. The nullity would be zero, but if let's say the second row is a multiple of the first row, then um, after you do after doing your row echelon computation, you end up with a zero row, which implies a rank of one. And uh, your kernel vectors then are of this format. So a kernel a kernel basis is one negative a half. And as I said before, here you can read about all your um, transformations that you um, learn about in linear algebra class. 
vectors well you can do the all-in-one powerful vector explorer enter any vector one two three find its length um, normalize the vector by dividing by its norm and then you have a unit vector right here and remember if you want decimal answers just make your input a decimal and your outputs will be decimal answers simple as that okay i hope you enjoyed this uh, introduction this app and many more are available at tinspireapps.com thanks for watching